me. Sorry, guys. It's just gonna. Be oh no, here he is. Hello. So you gotta share to your page, and then it is go time. It is go time. So, uh, it's just us right now, which means whoever comes in is going to chime in a little bit late. It's probably the usual suspects. Probably. Maybe a few of their friends. Perhaps they've told their friends about us. They've spread the gospel. Perhaps they have told us that, um, I am, um, Stacy, and this is, uh... Douglas. So we're going by Douglas now? Yes, I am official. It's Monday. Douglas? Yes. Okay, well, um, I'm Stacy, and this is my husband, Doug, and, uh... We uh, we have a podcast. We call it Marital Hate, and we're on 23. 2 3. And actually, uh, I don't think we hate each other. It's the, it's, no, so it's a misnomer. Don't. And we don't and really actually, hate we call in general. our fans haters, and they love us. So yeah, so go figure. We like to, to have a little bit of irony here. We're on a Marilyn. conundrum. We really are. But so that here's, here's how it works is um, we talk about things. Um, usually, I'm, um, I have a chronic illness, so usually the cannabis oil that I take to keep it myself from being an excruciating pain kicks in sometime during the show we're not quite there yet mm. I and took I'm, it a little late today and i'm chronically handsome i'm handsome now because my wife cut my hair this weekend so to, she's just, just a haircut. To the intro we can loop back to that though if you want well it was part of part of like kind of the thing it's a note but people are tuning in they're like oh that's not doug that's some younger guy not Porter Wagner. You don't look oh, stop talking about Porter. How do you not like Porter who, Wagner? Do you know reference. who Porter Wagner is? Because I don't know who the fuck Porter Wagner is. But no, every day for the last week, Porter Wagner. Porter, Porter Wagner. Wagner Porter, I'm just trying to introduce the podcast. Can we get through that before we talk about who Porter the fuck Porter Wagner, Wagner is? Okay. What about Lyle I'm Wagner? Stacey. Can we talk about Lyle Wagner? I'm marital hate. Okay, I'm Stacy. This is Doug. Hello. He's my husband. For now. For now. Uh, See if we make it through this hour. So, um, our friends, we appreciate you for coming, or our haters, be it uh, uh, whatever you choose to call yourselves. If you're here, you're our friend. If you're watching this later, you're our friend. Uh, you're haters, and uh, we appreciate you. We generally interact with the live audience uh, when we're done. When we're done. And because uh, we don't, you know, if you don't know what's going on, you can't read the yeah, comments on various later. platforms because soon we're going to be live streaming to multiple platforms. We're just trying to decide on a restream. World platform. domination. Yeah, world domination. Right. Right now we're down to what is it? Um, don't uh, don't give it away because unless there's a coupons there, well, available. No, but my question is promo is, codes. Can any if anybody here has used a restreaming platform, we would mm. love to hear who uh, who you use for restreaming because we've got several ideas and uh, I I don't know where to begin. I watched a promo for one today, and my head is spinning. Editing video is stressing me out. So the ones that people use are. Restream, Streamlabs, Switchboard Live, Caster, Lightstream, Switcher Studio, Wowza, Movie Live, One Stream Live, and Vimeo Livestream. Yikes. We don't freaking know. We're trying to figure it out. Like we said from the beginning, we have no idea what the hell we're doing. So, um... We need a research assistant. Well, we do. We, we have ChatGPT, and it gave me the name of ten, 10, some key points about 10 of the different well, streaming platforms, but we just, we have to, I have to sit down and research can it. Can you now ask it, narrow it down to three? Yeah. Give me like the three cheapest and the three best. Well, yeah, but but that's not the point. The point is I need to sit down and research it because we don't really understand what we're doing. No. So anyway, we um, right now we do a live show and it's currently on Facebook Live and then we show you can watch the reruns on Facebook reruns. or on you on YouTube. But soon you'll be able to watch live on multiple platforms. We're working on it. So far we have TikTok, Insta, Facebook, email, a website. Tick, did I say Twitter, TikTok, and we have a website, kind of. So the, t the Twitter is at Marital Hate. The Insta is Marital Hate with Stacy and Doug, all spelled out. Uh, TikTok is Marital Hate, although we haven't posted any videos yet, but we'll be happy to follow mm -hmm. you. Our email is MaritalHate at gmail.com, and uh, the website's MaritalHate at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Sorry, MaritalHate.com, but it's there's like nothing there right now. We're working on it. Coming all together. Right, all right. So we appreciate your patience as we co go through this process. You may notice that we redid our logo over the weekend. We did. We re we rebranded. We uh, we started with our um, praying mantis idea, which was great because of the marital hate, and that's. Uh, and I will bite his head off like yeah, a motherfucker. Well, at least you know. Or a mantis fucker. <laughs> Some sort of fucker. Um, well, because ma don't, they bite their head off. After yeah, they after they them, mate. So, yeah. and so we thought that was like a good, like, like a but fucker. they do mate, and then it all ha all hell breaks loose. So anyways, we ended up going with the, our, our friends, the Flamingos, which you will see because behind us. Because the reason we went with the Flamingos was because we have a new intro video that some of you have may, may have seen. The intro video 
for now is only going to show up on reruns on YouTube. However, the video has been shared to our Facebook page if you want to check it out. Um, we were trying to figure out a way to show it to you guys tonight, but we couldn't figure out how to show it to you and come back and come back off. But I will tell you there's some, um, some, some little Easter eggs in that, um, that video. The first of which being, drum roll please. A nip slip? There is no nip slip. Uh, <laughs> why do you have to be naughty There's enough all the time? nip slips in this house. You kidding? Um, we'll get to that. Today's nip slip. I know okay. that was very Easter exciting eggs. for you. So the Easter eggs in the video include, but are not limited to. Where the hell is? Oh, it doesn't show up on the public list. I'm not on the public one. I'm logged in as Marilyn Hayes, so I have to find it. Anyway, um, the drum roll is by. The drum roll? In the, in the video. Who does the drum roll? I don't know what you're talking There's about. There's music in the video. In, specifically, there's drumming oh, and yeah, other yeah. instruments, and who made that music? That was uh, an original song by me. Yes, original song by Douglas Gear called, yeah. drumroll please. Called Perfectville. Perfectville. It's off my new album, which is uh, going to come out at some point. What is it called? Songs what? Oh, uh, songs one through ten. I was trying to come up with an idea for what to call the album. Like, I'm not going to call it, like, Doug or Life So Far or some stupid thing like that. So I'm just thinking, you know, one through ten leaves me, like, room to do more songs after this, so... One through ten. So that so um, so uh, perfect. Phil is my favorite song, like in the world. I cry every time I hear it. It's she so cries. fucking corny. Um, but if you look in the video, see, I'm trying to pull, play it on this, and it, oh, there it goes. Okay, okay, so so it's our pool. It starts out with our pool, and and uh, it's a lot of driving around uh, South Florida. There's uh, driving over the Fort Myers Bridge. There is a picture from our wedding back when I was super hot. Uh, there's some pictures of Sanibel Beach, Doug in the pool. The Sanibel Beach pictures are interesting because a lot of the trees got decapitated. There's a <clears throat> post-storm video of Doug running around. And Yelling USA, USA. Fairly prime shot of my ass in there and a nice go for tortoise song and a video of us dancing. And if you can guess <laughs> <laughs> what we are dancing to yeah, in that yeah. video, it is not the song he's playing. It is no. a different song. We I... <sighs> If you can guess, we will have a yeah. prize for you. I don't even know what prize song it is. Prize still out there, standing for um, guessing what I um, yes. uh, got my varsity letter in in high school. Mm. It was not lacrosse. It was mm. not softball. It was not track. It was not theater. Lacrosse, it was yeah, not. Yeah, another one. Was, well, um, there's another one. Did somebody? It wasn't. See, I would guess hot dog eating. Hot dog eating was at my Catholic school, not an available oh, okay. activity. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't a but, uh, varsity you know. sanctioned. Um, I mean, I did that on my spare time, but not. Hey in, now. I love hot dogs. She does. I, I used to be good for like maybe four or five hot you dogs take a that year. You Ball want games, to. cookouts, things like that. Um, I would now eat hot dogs She all day. just loves the hot dog as a thing. And, and I um, love dicks. So go figure. Coincidence? I think not. Um, <laughs> um, I did not let her in debate. Um, but I probably could have. There should be that good was at that, not, though. Actually, I don't mm -hmm. think that there was debate at our school. Oh, maybe not. But our... our Debating was our, a sin. My lovely steps on your lovely offspring, number well, one. Well, he was in speech, not debate. Oh, it's not debate? Well, he's yeah, doing debate. some he's pretty good speech. stuff on the debate. Again, I refer back to the emails of the professor. I told him that he should have gotten a grade on that because it was fucking beautiful. Yeah, didn't necessarily get him what he wants, but it was beautifully written. Nah, it's the um, and Put an effort in. Speaking of the kids... Tonight we're watching Family Feud, and there's a kid on there that's Black West. He's like my stepson Wesley, his son, yeah. in a black format. And yeah. I, I thought he was delightful. Oh, yeah. um, and bl and oh, black, Wes no black Nolan works at the Coles in Cape Coral. There's so also we, a Filipino Nolan who works at um, Trader Joe's. Okay, I don't think I've seen him. Nolan works everywhere. Yeah. Is really what it comes yeah, down yeah. to. Uh, so, well, I think anybody with glasses is is like a is a is a whatever Nolan. So you know, just because they have glasses, I'm looking at skinny. Kids that are like tall, skinny. And yeah, like the Coles kid is super mm -hmm. tall. In um, yeah, he's in in very fashionable, you know, the, those kind of things. Very very so fashionable anyway. for for the the uh, the age. Well, because the kids today they're nah, keeping they, up with the know, trends and me? stuff. They're not walking around in a moo moo with their hair tied mm -hmm. in knots. Um, so in the good. video, there's a little dance that we do, and then of course there's uh, the flamingo. So we decided we got a lot of tropical stuff going on. We got the pool going on. How the hell do praying mantises relate to that? So we're going to deep on the flamingos and we freaking love flamingos so if you guys want to start sending us flamingo shit knock yourselves out okay what uh so that was uh we want we, so we we so we post that video so that y'all could see it and it'll be going on to things mm -hmm. very soon mm -hmm. and we missed you guys we asked yeah, i actually posted on <laughs> it was funny i posted on Meryl hate over the weekend uh 
what are you guys doing this weekend? We miss you. And my aunt put an emoji. No one else answered except my aunt. She just put an emoji of someone laughing on the ground. And I don't know if that meant she laughed because she's working all weekend uh, or yeah, she's yeah. laughing no because we never leave the house or she's laughing because no one's answering the question. Or we have no life I other than really this know. podcast. Maybe it's she's kind of true, but yeah. we don't have any life other than this podcast. Although I did have chats with people today. Well, I talked you to did. Christina. You, you're I all over the place today. To Zach. I talked to Todd. I talked to somebody Me. else. I talked to, to my friend at T-Mobile. Uh, mm. Congratulations, uh, Xavier, on your promotion. He oh. is now a store manager up in Virginia, of all places. But he told me that he has connections at the Costco, and he'll hook me up. Nice. I'll say this. Um, so we uh, last, so we've had a cacophony of electronic <laughs> device failures since my husband lost his job in September. First, his laptop shit the bed. Great. Well, it didn't physically. It just there's it almost blew up. So it, there you go. The the screen has been broken, half of it, for two years. And um, the keyboard is now warped because the battery is exploding. I think that that might mean it's time to replace the laptop. It's almost like somebody snuck in here at night and, and, and uh, put a bicycle pump into the computer and did like a couple pumps and left every night for like six months until it got Hang on, hang shape. on, back up. They did a couple, <laughs> couple Cu pumps. Couple pumps. And every on night a bicycle for pump. six months and mm -hmm. then left. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they'd leave every night. They would come in. Not saying I'm having the, flashbacks to my previous relationships, but that's called the booty call. It's not a relationship. If you're married, it's it's, it's a relationship, relationship 101. Okay. In any case, um, I don't even know what to say about you and your okay. dirty, dirty Electronic analogies. Electronic failure. And so then my iPad shit the bed. And why do you have to say that? It's it just stopped working it conked out it shit the bed it gave up the ghost what it, do you think that people it are gonna crashed think, do you think that because i said that people are gonna think that we have well shit i in don't our know bed? why do we, yeah, we're gonna have we're less house the gas shit we, into the into the vernacular of of electronics it's listen i I'm, you know there's some nerd out there electronics don't have uh defecation no uh, i don't know what you're talking about okay well i understand that there's some spectrum -y person out there that is being very specific about this but i'm sitting here with one person who's being very specific about this for no reason. Well, I'm just objecting to the to the to the word shit. The, nothing has to be Marital shit. hate bell. Just it the iPod shit, shit stopped shit, shit, working. Shit, we don't shit, know what shit. happened. Shit 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 no, shit shit nice. shit shit shit. You shit, know what? You're, shit, you're not representing my brand right now with the foul language. Thank you. Oh, I could just go on on like potty words all night long. Do not do this. You don't want to open this can of worms. Well, just say It's not for kids just, people. Just Marital hate. It. Just drop it. What other uh, So anyway, items? the iPad shit the bed. And the <laughs> oh, it... <laughs> I don't want to hear the, the shitty fucked, words it anymore. It fucked off to the land of fucking broken fucking electronics. <laughs> mm. And, um... Um... So it fucked off for, um... I, I the, apologize the we, for language. Yeah, but no, we have language <laughs> on this show. Stop it. All right. How about like apologizing for interrupting and distracting me? Sorry, I fucking apologize. All right. I tried to swear and I be will hip. Kick you in the dick. Okay. okay. So. Don't want that. iPad broke. Laptop broke. We broke. Bought a new Wii. Oh, the Wii. We, yeah. Use Wii on uh, eBay for eBay. like forty bucks. Yeah, it was not much. Then um, the laptop, well, you can't do photo and video editing, which Doug does for a living, without a Mac. You have to have, like, a fucking good Mac. Like, my MacBook Air wouldn't support it, so we had to fucking buy a Mac. Fortunately, I have an Apple card. We have Apple cards, and we were able to 0% finance that thing out till the end of time. We couldn't even lease one for that. So then the other day, we went for my <laughs> iPad, and they were like, uh, yeah, you can have the brand new one for 300 bucks." And I was like, put it on the Apple card. And so now here we are. Our phones are not working. Well, they're like not no, holding. Yeah. They're not holding charges. My phone is so. It's not time. holding a charge. Okay. And it doesn't matter because we won't be able to trade it in soon, and we want to save on our bill. You have complained to me that it's not holding a charge. I love how like you've actually complained to me that it's not holding a charge. No, I just have been not charging it all the way, and it ends up dying halfway through. Whatever. Well, that's so really bad so for different. your battery. Whatever. Anyway. So I'm researching it because I ran into this kid, Xavier, at Costco last time. We were there Xavier. with the kids. Nice kid. Uh, he has little dreads. He's working on it. And um, he was telling me about the promotions they do. And we went through this before. When we switched from AT&T to Verizon, they paid us 500 bucks 
to switch over and gave us new phones and we saved 20 Thank bucks you. a month. Yeah. So now, and save money on the bill, yes. So now, get this. Not only if we go Costco, T-Mobile, we're going to get two iPhone 14s. We're going to save 40 bucks a month on our bill over what we're paying now. And we Substantial. Get, and we get Netflix for free, which is fifteen forty nine a month. And we get, which by the way, that's not, that's not nothing. Um, it, it sounded like we were getting more free stuff than we were paying for on the phone. 12. So maybe that's how. So we're getting $185 a year of free Netflix. Of free, just Netflix alone, yeah. Um, and, um, and we get Paramount for free from them, and we get Apple TV for free from them. Mm. So we wouldn't have bought those other two, but we do have Netflix, so that'll save us some money. And uh, to the tune of 185 88 a year, plus the $40 a month times 12, that's 480 plus 188 So we have now, we will be getting when we finally go to the store, it's like found new money. iPhones, and we're $180 above board mm -hmm. compared to the iPad, if that makes any sense. I, yes. Because the total savings is $480. Yep. We bought the iPad, it was $300. we are still in the hole for the computer, but it's a write-off, as is the iPad. So. And we're going to have to buy new cases for our phones. Uh, we will buy new cases, but I will buy them on the interwebery. Yes. Um, actually, maybe I should buy them before we even fucking pick up phones. Because I didn't yeah, use my phones are beautiful. Now. I didn't use my yeah. iPhone for two days because, or my iPhone, my oh, uh, you're right. yeah, my my iPad for two days because the new cover didn't come. And when the new cover came, oh, P.S. This is the new cover. Mm. Oh, it's the same Ooh, cover it, I had before, a different it, design. It fools thieves. It looks like a new book, but it's not. It's, it's an fine. iPad case. Um. Anyway, in the packaging, it came with this in the middle. It was a piece of foam. It's just a piece of foam. With but a, I feel like because we have this like low budget studio situation going on here, we're trying yeah, to give you like a nice podcast. Something with that. Maybe we will use it for something. But I will tell you that if you're a fifty seven year old man, you can put your penis through this only when it's flaccid. You you're the one who asked me to do it. So if you want you did this one on your own. I didn't even have to no, take it from you. No, you didn't. You, I, and you were like, well, I want it fit in it and all that stuff. So if you kind of... Well, like, you're just basically showing all of America how big your dick is. Well, I don't care about that. But well, anyway. So, uh, not, uh, well, no. so you can fit things through it, but if you get hurt, it's going to get stuck and you're going to have to go and to the And then you're going gonna to have to go to the ER. You, go to the ER you, you, you can't bust through that foam. foam. <laughs> how do you get the foam off? It's a styrofoam. Uh, I can't it's find... It's like flexible okay. styrofoam. Um, so, okay, so... So we, what, what did they... Well, so we we want to know what you guys did this weekend. We would love to hear. We wish well, you had commented because we could have some some comments yeah, about what, indeed. You, what so, you did. We have to, we judge you. But there was one other thing this weekend that happened um, regarding technology that uh, I... I that was last remember. weekend. No, it was this weekend. We didn't beat Mario this weekend. No. Nope. What happened this weekend? I was um, I was uh, using the, the skimming the pool, and guess what happened? Someone's phone was on the on the on the pool edge. Where it is every single day. Yes, of course. And but of course, I wasn't looking. I was looking at my bugs that I'm getting off the pool, and then bloom, I kick it into the pool. Hmm. And Go I for it. Sprung in action. Reach dive down. Dive in. Reach it. Look at that. It. Like a 3D. It was like a 3D movie. I grab it as it's like going down to the bottom. I grab it. I pull it out. Shake it out. It was some superhero level. No shit. problem. I got to give you credit. For I that. had my sleeve a little wet though. That was. You know, I don't. I don't see superheroes with wet sleeves. I think that there's like a, Marvel's new superhero is actually called Wet Sleeve. Wet Sleeve Man. <laughs> um, I will. Say, although That's what I call my vagina <laughs> Wet Sleeve. <laughs> Does anybody else call their vagina wet sleeve? Because this I'm going to open a lesbian car bar and call it the wet sleeve. Lesbian car wash? Is that what you're saying? Like a lesbian bar. Uh oh, lesbian called bar. the wet sleeve. Um, uh, Actually, there's so so. I, I, it's better I than the pelt room. The pelt. Uh, John Waters had the pelt room. That was I don't. A, that was I don't one. know what that is, but I will um, tell you this. Um, there's a lesbian bar in Florida that's going to be closing because they don't have enough patronage, and I don't know the name of it, and I forget. And if it was close by, I would totally go there and, you know, I don't know, find myself a backup say, say plan. Say goodbye. I'd find myself a backup okay. plan. Um, what are, these I, girls are handy today. More than I they thought you were going to say these girls are handsome, and that would have been no, kind but of, like, no, because I, I that's mean, listen, not a good thing I'm just to call saying, a lady. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying that, like, I realize that we made this, like, agreement that I had to be a lesbian when I died. Don't forget, you have to have sex with my dead body. You have to have sex with my dead body. But there's a lot of great lesbian options out there now. Like my like I have some friends, they're scuba I, divers, they're they do stuff I they like Jeeps, I like Jeeps, I like scuba diving, they fix things, I, I like them to fix I things. Like. I just need to get a nice one that'll pay for things because I don't 
I don't really oh, have any money. Oh, because you, yeah, uh, well. That's, that's what I would like to be a kept woman. Do. Thank a you. Kept woman. I would like to be um, a kept woman now. <laughs> I'm about uh, to be unkept. I'm very unkept. You're un unkempt. Yes. In general, yes. Um, but uh, I think you reminded me of something when uh, when you were talking about of uh, how you really are n the the wet sleeve car wash. Uh, it wasn't a car wash. I was just starting a moment. Or, or a bar, whatever. Um, I was trying to remember, like there was, you were going somewhere with that. It reminded me of something that we had over the weekend or something. We didn't really do anything all no. weekend. We were well, working so on Friday, this podcast stuff. What happened? So Friday after the podcast, did we go straight to sleep, or we stayed up a little bit. Uh, I think we stayed up a little bit. Oh, and celebrated I mean, our twenty second episode. We really celebrated no, our twenty second. No. But I, I got to tell you guys, I I want to get in and do those clips, and I had like a full on panic attack about making shorter clips the other night. There was no talking me out of it. I was just having a complete mental try breakdown, I so I have to try again. But yes, uh, over the weekend, so because I didn't have my dueling screens, I haven't really been on top of our finances. Like our bills are paid, but I didn't know how much we had, how much we didn't have. So we are officially right now exactly where we were a year ago. Why do you share these like intimate details with us? Well, because we've talked about it, and people keep trying to give us money. Yeah, no, and no, so no. anyway, we don't want your money yet. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna need it. Um, you know, for our cult. My cult. Uh, we're going to have trouble being on Spotify because I keep start talking about starting a cult. And what are their terms of service says we can't have a cult. Yes, uh, and Stacey was reading the terms of service. And I thought it was their rejection letter to us because we talk about suicide, forming a cult, um, you know, whatever. Sex you know, with dolphins? Uh, no. uh, well, I didn't talk about that, but you did. Sure, but sure. No, but the way she was reading it, I'm like, wait, we're inappropriate for everything. Every no, I was just reading you so, the terms of service. Yeah, so that's what it, it made me think of. Like, oh, are we? Are do we need to go underground and go on the dark web or something? I don't know what we have to do. Oh my but god! If was, we went in the dark web, I would be so much out of control than mm -hmm. I currently am. I don't think that's a good idea for anyone. I, you t well, tell tell me tell them what my idea today, my money making idea of the day was. You are so oh yes. This, so yeah. so I come outside and I try oh. to swim some laps. I well I float in the pool. I'll take in, a phone in, call, I'll do a little TikTok, do a little social media for the podcast, and I will swim laps. And so I... And not, I, not like a, like an Olympic swimmer, but swimming laps, going back and forth. Okay, why would yeah. you say that I'm not like an Because, you, know, you know, like it, it, people, it, like the I idea of laps is like your mark spits out there. Yeah, yeah. Like a frog. Back and forth. Yeah, it's and nice. Forth. So anyway, we used to have complete privacy from the street. This lot's empty. That woman is delightful, but she come outside. She's never around. I mean, she's she's outside, but not like a ton. You know, whatever. She's a girl. That's the street. So we had these massive fifteen foot bushes that the hurricane took away from us, and they're coming back slowly. But you can't come out here naked anymore unless you want the entire neighborhood to see you. I don't give two shits, but I don't want to end up on a list somewhere. So I have this oversized tank top, and when I say. It's the closest thing to naked you can possibly be by wearing anything that resembles clothing. I think that would be an understatement. Absolutely. You can see right through it when it's, it's dry. You can see through it when it's dry. See through it when it's wet. See through it. Well, when it's wet, it's all clingy and there's nothing nothing left in there. As a matter of fact, there's a picture of me of wearing that tank top in the pool on the new video for the podcast. All yeah. you see is It's my clingy. Butt. Anyway, so I just throw it on. I wear it out to the pool. If I, it gets wet, it gets wet. I'll swim with it on, whatever. So I'm swimming laps, you know, and I'm going like this. Breaststroke. Is that the breaststroke? I don't know what that is. Yeah, because this is the crawl. This is the breaststroke. I'm going like this, like a little frog. And it's got, it's a tank top. And if you have big old titties like me, you know that occasionally when you're wearing a tank top, if you're not wearing a bra, it pops out the side. So I had this whole like titties popped out both sides of the like so tank like there top was situation. The, the whole tank top was just down the middle. Like, like say there was this one stripe. Was the know. tank top in the middle, and that yeah. that was what was happening. There was one over here, one over here. And so I'm swimming, mm. and so if you're standing behind me, you're getting like a view of like my bunt cake, and my well, what was the thing that I called the my box? The, <laughs> the sleeve? wet sleeve. My wet sleeve, <laughs> my bunt cake, <laughs> my butt, my my belly is probably hanging down. Um, and then, of course, my tits are out on either side, on like either torpedoes, side. and they're wait, wait. going like this. And like, one's going this way, and one's going that way, it's swimming around, one's going up and down, the other one's going left and right. It was. Uh, so I texted Doug and told him to it? come out, which I, I did. thought he might enjoy this, and which he sat there and watched me for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't, yeah. You ever watch like a chameleon and their eyes go like in different directions? That's what you were swimming like, you know, that was going so different directions. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I'm considering just putting some, some cameras underwater in the pool and just some swimming GoPros. laps. 
Yeah. Making myself some OnlyFans cash. Little OnlyFans. Whatever anybody's into. No it's harm not no foul. drama. It's not choir. Keep trying. Um, I can't. Yeah, she's I over can't. there. She's looking through old yearbooks <laughs> on microfiche trying to figure out. Uh, people still try to guess what I got my uh, varsity letter in in high school, and it was not drama or choir. Um, and or debate. Maybe, or, or debate or softball or lacrosse or volleyball or field Hot dog hockey. eating. Uh, it was not hot dog eating. I did not do that uh, professionally. Um so anyway, um, so yeah, I might just do that. I might do myself some OnlyFans nonsense. So we did, so over the weekend, we basically, wor I worked on, the, you worked a little on your music. I did, yeah. you worked on music and the podcast. Yeah. I worked on the pod, or I tried to work on the podcast and her nervous breakdown and bills. And I got all of our accounts balanced. I know where every penny is. We are exactly where we were a year ago. So we will figure it out. We're going to be fine. Um, I just keep telling myself that. So, and of course, thanks to you guys who are sharing, commenting, and uh, reacting and inter interacting with our posts. Um, you know, maybe the podcast will bring in some money, and we can not just uh, make people feel a little less lonely and laugh at us. And um, I don't know, pay some bills, and maybe one day even do things for charity, which is my ultimate goal. But well, I, I was thinking tonight that. Um, Mm -hmm. One of our first sponsors could be Jeremiah's Italian Ice down the street. I'm not Cape giving Pearl Jeremiah's Parkway. any fucking free advertising. Well, 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 no, I didn't say free. I free they would be listen, a sponsor of if the If any thing. of our friends that are watching this have um, a business that they would like us to promote, we would love mm -hmm. to promote you. Actually, yeah. one of our favorite businesses to promote is Vitamin C Chiropractic. They'll come to you. They come to you, but they're over on uh, they're over on the East Coast mm -hmm. in the uh, Daytona. Daytona, Ormond, Palm Ormond Beach, Coast that kind area. of area. Uh, Palm Coast. I think that she does that whole area. Um, and uh, she's a fantastic chiropractor. She comes to you. Um, and then she does, instead of those big manipulations, she does a little tappy thing. I find it to be far more effective. Um, she's, you know, I've, you, I've, I've been to many, many chiropractors in my life. I've only been to one other chiropractor who does the techniques she does, but she just does it better. She's just fucking awesome. She's an awesome person. She's one of my favorite people on the planet. She's a delight. Love you, Christina. Um, and, um, and it was and her, her husband's birthday with, she's, oh, uh, this past weekend, happy apparently. Birthday, happy Brent. birthday to Brent. Brent um, is, what, 29? I don't know what Brent is, but you know what? <laughs> happy birthday, Brent. We're sorry we He's old enough party. to know better. Just saying. Still too young to care. Mm. Mm. They are the cutest couple in the world. Except maybe us. We're, we're amazing. Oh, you're amazing. Me? Not so much. Um, Me, I, I'm gray a haired bit, Porter Wagner looking at I'm a little concerned about the fact that nobody has commented about the flamingos. About the mating, um, the flamingos. The mating rituals the of the backyard. We have not become swingers. That is not some sort of a code. A code for, uh, yeah. We are not, I don't know. We. What if, what if somebody like came along and they were like, they had a mansion, they want us to live there, and they wanted you to be one of their boyfriends, me to be one of their girlfriends, and there was lots of dogs in the house. Oh, not you had to the be dogs. in by nine But you had to be in by nine o'clock. But you can have as much money as you want for plastic um, surgery. Frustrated women have to be in by twelve o'clock. Do you know where I'm going with this at all? I think what you want is to us to move into a mansion and be sex slaves with, for some rich person. Well, I'm just suggesting that that's that could happen. Uh, or either that, or it was a plot to one of Madonna's movies from the '80s. I do not want to see any Madonna. Movie. I already watched *She Was That Girl* the other day. I also, I, I, I love *Body of Evidence*. I love that movie. It William, was a good movie. Yeah. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Who was also in. Um, uh, Blue Dog other, Saints. There's some other random ass Paul. people in that movie too that I didn't even notice till way later. It, it's, it's wasn't Joe Montana in that? He was like the detective that was like trying to catch them or something. I I don't know. Well, I don't even know my own name. Learn this and other key facts about Madonna. Uh, well, okay. Um, what was the um? There was something that happened. Um. Oh, you were going to try to explain to me who Spiro Agnew is or whoever Not it is. Porter Wagner. Who the fuck is that? Porter Wagner was a, like a huge country star. And I'm not sure if he discovered, but he was a, uh, the mentor to uh, our friend Dolly Parton. Um, and eventually Dolly Parton got to a See, point where she... See, now he becomes like yeah. mildly interesting because so, he's connected to Dolly. Yes, yes. So Porter Rag Wagner was one of those like... You know, like kind of country singer icon kind of thing, but he had he had like the the gray pompadour as as years uh, went by, and uh, to this day, I think uh, there, uh, um, Dolly has nothing but good things to say about Porter Wagner. 
Uh, so I just wanted to say real quick, back to Body of Body Evidence. Body of Evidence starring Wonderful Madonna film. and Willem Dafoe. Incidentally, Defoe. my stepmother had a coronary that I went to see that movie with two boys. She's like, basically, you're going to see porn with your friends. Yeah. Um, so, Probably wasn't uh, the first time. You're right about Joe Montaigne. There's some other yes. people in here that I recognize from Ann other Archer things. Ann Archer was always the suffering wife oh, uh, of she's someone. a yep. suffering bitch in this movie. Wow. Julianne Moore, isn't it? Oh, the lovely Julianne um, Moore. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Madonna actually used a body double at one point. But I could be wrong. Um, so somebody used a body personally. Oh, apparently Madonna personally selected Willem Dafoe. Of everyone in Hollywood, you can pick any celebrity to fake fuck with, and you pick Willem Dafoe? Sorry, Willem. We're, uh, that's just Here my wife talking. Here are the people talking. I would pick before Willem Dafoe. Terry Bradshaw. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken would have been so great Oh, in Christopher role. Walken's better. Yeah, I, I think, I, been yeah, so good. I think anybody, I think even uh, Willem Dafoe would, would rank Walken above him in any, any category. Walken is God. I don't know if he's God, but he's uh, he's a fascinating guy. But we don't know what the hell happened with Natalie Wood in that whole shenanigans there. So he's still he's still not off the well. He's off the hook. But Robert Wagner is not. Is he still alive? Robert Wagner. Mm -mm. I don't know. I, I'm, I was hoping for a deathbed confession or something. Oh no, Madonna and mm. Willem Dafoe did not have body doubles. Oh. Somebody else oh. did. Okay. No. So we're seeing uh, little Willem. <laughs> no. Did you know though that in, you get these like so in. If you're gonna um, be in a, a a movie like a like a like a rated R movie, like yeah, a, like a regular movie, release. like not yeah. a porno, um, anything that is uh, uses um, uh, SAG actors, you get this little thing. It's like a a flesh colored thing, stick on pad, like a pasty for mm. your for your parts, or like a okay. pasty cup for your balls. Oh. Yeah, so even, like, so let's say Doug and I are in a movie, because we'll definitely get to be in a movie. Like, they're going to be like, our podcast is going to get picked up, and they're going to be like, we need to make a movie about this, and we'll obviously start with ourselves, as opposed to having actual actors. Oh, you might choose Willem Dafoe over me. Uh, I would he, definitely not choose Willem does, Dafoe he, over you. He does have the wrinkly forehead like I do. I don't find him to be attractive, but thank you. I think it's because Sorry, he's a Willem, smoker. I don't know. What, what are we, we, he looks I like a smoker, I and I don't find smokers to what be attractive. What about Steve Buscemi? I find Steve Buscemi to be attractive, but it's the firefighter he, thing. He was a friend of Joe Strummer, so he's cool with me. Although Steve Buscemi kind of looks like Charlie. That's freaking me the fuck out. Steve Buscemi looks like Charlie? No, oh. Keith. Oh, it looks like Keith. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like one of my uh, friends. Anyway, okay. not the point. The point is that um, I do find Steve Buscemi to be attractive because I think funny is... I, if you can get a woman to laugh, you can get her to do anything. Mm. Actually, I saw something interesting this weekend. They said that if you're a guy or a girl and you mm. want to ask someone out, what you say to them is, I would like to take you out on Tuesday to blah, 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 and then blah, 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 or whatever it is. But you want to be very specific about it because they're kind of blown away by the fact that you plan it. Because most of the time it's like, oh, I've got a date. Like, what are we going to do? Come up with something fun and thoughtful. You know what? If they had a website that said, like, how about we do something, like, whatever, <laughs> that would have been great. If you haven't seen episode one, we went, met on a website called How About We, and it was with suggestions of, um, you came up with suggestions of things to do. I don't know what any of mine were. I remember yours, but I don't remember well, mine I wanted at all. to go mini golfing, and I wanted to go furniture shopping, and what was the other one? Uh, furniture shopping, um... Chaos. I remember chaos. I don't remember. I don't remember. No. But anyway, you picked. I don't remember anything. So if I, I if you were going to take someone on a date. On a date. Where did you two? Mm. Massachusetts edition, Cape Coral edition. Oh, Massachusetts date. edition. Um, I would go on some sort of um, non-strenuous scenic um, hike or something like that, or kayak well, I'm adventure. Out. Can't go on anything, thing. can't do the walking. Yeah, that's the way I weed out the people with Lyme disease and heart problems, <laughs> is just, you know, I'm going to try and try and outrun them Fuck or something. You. Okay, I'm so um, it depends on what time of year it is. In oh, New right, yes, it does. Sorry, we should have clarified. I think that if you're a New Englander, you should always take advantage of your seasonal opportunities. You never know when you're going to move to Florida and not have any more seasonal opportunities. I like fun things like going apple picking. Apple picking? <laughs> Aaron, we miss you. Our pal Aaron was talking to a girl back when he was single, before he was a dad, and um, he um, Aaron, Aaron. Well, let's give you a little background. Aaron was a single Indian gentleman from from uh, India. As yeah, a matter of fact. <laughs> yes, he's an Indian gentleman from India. He's from actually um, Calcutta. Calcutta. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, so, if you know a guy named Aaron from uh, Calcutta, it could might be, be our friend. Could, could be, be our friend. A lot of people in Calcutta. Uh, anyway. Um, 
<laughs> There's people watching Galgoda with you know like a <laughs> Um <laughs> So um he he went out with this girl and we we're like, Are you gonna go out with her again? Like what happened? He's like, can you do it? You do it way better than I do. Goes, I don't I, 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 she, I, she wanted to go apple picking. And the way he said it. Like it was like he was why, angry. Like what the yeah, fuck yeah. is wrong with this crazy? I bitch? can buy apples. He would in never a say store. that. Why would I go and physically Pay labor like pickle pick the apple? So he's like he was totally bewildered by this. Apple, like, picking. apple picking. <laughs> it was so it was unbelievably funny, and to this day it's still funny. We can't and, see apples. And, but I get it. I get it right because like you, why would you go and do farm labor for fun? Like that would be like uh, let's go silo some grain uh, for on a date that uh, doesn't make any sense so, either um <laughs> well and then there's you know there's all there's also the cultural stuff that you don't realize until like it you know yeah, it's yeah. funny like I, it's like i don't realize our age difference until something comes up like spiro agnew I'm, no, I'm not spiro, Porter I'm wagner. Porter wagner. god damn it I mean, and you don't even know who lyle wagner <laughs> is either either i don't even know who lyle love it is i know that he fucked julia roberts that's about all i got in any case she, but he's not the baby daddy I don't know what anything about Julia Roberts other than her brother. Right. Oh, so her he, brother is uh, Eric Roberts, and I think Martin Luther King in, uh, paid for her birth or something. It was Eric some Roberts was in a great thing. movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. that I cannot think of the name of at the moment, whereas one of them was an author and wrote a book, and the other one stole the book, and oh. then there was a whole crime thing. It was very good. It was, so nobody showed was, anybody money, the money, at that point. No, there's Cuba. no showing the money or Scientology um, in this movie that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, right. Actually, oh my god, I'm so, gonna get so distracted. I back wanna, to your date. Back to well, your date idea. I do want but I wanted to talk about the. Um, eh. All right, I'm gonna write this down before I forget. That's so why I have a notepad right here. I kites, write down things down. And then um, we were talking about the. I don't know. Okay, so dates. I think take advantage of the seasons. Things that I thought I, I actually went on a great date once with a guy, who. Later, basically offered to to be my sugar daddy. He offered to buy me whatever car I wanted at his dealership. And I was was like, it oh. Richard Gear? Because it sounds like no, that, it that doesn't. Was but it was. Something. I had a the guy was nice enough, but that just was like a whoa. That was aggressive even for me. Um, he took me to La Salette to look at the Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. Fucking score. We went to La Salette. He brought like a cocktail, and we walked around. It was a great time. We got hot chocolate. That was a good date. The guy wasn't great, but the the date was. And then I did the whole deal up the stairs and did the whole. So if you're not from Massachusetts, at La Salette, there's the stairs. Yes, and you the prayer stairs. up the stairs and you say the rosary. And I grew up, we did that. So I did it. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine you're on a date with a chick and she kneels on every fucking step and says That's a good date. It's a good date. <laughs> uh, I, I will, my, uh, funny story, when my kids were young, we went to the lighting at La Salette and apparently they sell these carnival mugs with hot chocolate in them so we got the kids you know and they flash they flash like blue oh my they're God, flashing I'm gonna have an epileptic fit so right now these I'll things are epileptic. flashing and we're going up the stairs and there's people like right there like kneeling and praying and I'm like I have to douse the mug it just, <laughs> it's like it's like flashing on their face as they're trying to pray it was a, it was a, a nice vignette moment of uh, La Salette that's my lots of that story. Okay, so we're trying not to get too off the rails here, but we'll get back to it. Okay. I think any time, um, yeah, sledding, snow angels, oh, uh, yes. apple picking, Sledding's pumpkin picking, stuff. pumpkin carving. Um, pumpkin picking, no bueno. So date, dates don't have to be money, no. and that's the thing that people don't realize. Um, springtime, dude, I would like a, a cool-ass springtime spring. date. Like go to the farmer's market, or like you could like go to the farmer's market and get like a little picnic. Mm. Or like, um, I don't know. Like you could go get flowers and like plant them. I actually did something once really fun. I don't, I don't know that you do this on a date unless you're goth. But Mrs. Goth. my friend Andrea and I once went to the cemetery and had a picnic and left flowers, we planted flowers. That might be a fun date. It's not really a date. What if you're like a gothy? Oh, and there's that goth. Unless it was somebody famous's date, like like. Uh, um... Go ahead. You know, like 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 if you went to like. Uh... I don't know who's famous in Boston that's buried. You like, go to like Albert Lizzie, DeSalvo. Lizzie Borden's. Go to, yeah, you, you go to Lizzie Borden. Go to Lizzie Borden's grave. And you, you go on a Halloween. And you bring an axe to. You go cut to a, the, cut on this a Halloween cold cuts date. With you have or a, well, that's in a yes. bad neighborhood. I don't know that I would uh, want to yeah, go to that yeah, neighborhood, yeah. but but her great. But I don't know. There's mm. just, there's just options out there. You summertime. Go to, you could go to Plymouth Rock and be disappointed. Do you go, don't? Yeah, I like going. Well, Common Ground's under construction, but I like. We like to go to Duxbury Beach 
But you can't get a day pass though. You gotta buy if you're a non-resident, it's like four hundred bucks for the year. You can drive your car right on the sand. We even see, you're supposed to do it with four wheel drive, but we watched a Toyota Venza do it one day. It dug itself right into the. It was like getting worse. One well, good. It almost <laughs> like it was like Tremors was pulling you know that thing down by problems. one of the wheels. You know you've got problems when you have to call Cito to get your Toyota Venza off Cito. Dutch Bay Beach. So uh, and I almost watched a woman's Mercedes go into the ocean there one day. Jeez. She thought the tide was coming going out and it was coming in and I'm like. Mm -hmm. I wonder who the hell owns that Mercedes because that's going to be you, gone in about you 20 minutes. do not minutes. want salt water on And she was like, yeah, shit, yeah, and we yeah. all rushed out and helped her move mm. it. So she was just very, very wealthy and not very bright, but she How was very nice. How do you help nice. her move it? The water wasn't in yet. It was coming, and she right. got in it, and she was having a hard time. Oh, okay, we all, right, right. Yeah, she was so waiting for help. the... She was, <laughs> she was waiting for the water to go out. It was <laughs> coming, and I'm like, oh, that tide is coming in, my mm. friend. So anyway... Uh, not the point. Uh, down here in Florida, I mean, the weather's... Oh, down here. There's so much stuff outside to do that you never have to spend any money. I couldn't... I can't... Like, the problem for yeah, us is we, that we, I can't we, do the yeah. walking. If I could do the yeah, walking, we, could we would walking, be... If I, all kinds we would stuff, be doing yeah. so much stuff. But there's botanical gardens, zoos, like mm -hmm. stuff, activities. Like, yeah. that's what... Like, movie, you can't talk. The nah, can movie's awkward, a terrible but date. You, but even dinner is tough because it's like, uh, talking, chewing. Well, dinner is like, I don't want to eat in front of this person. Well, the other thing that happened to me, and I totally didn't realize it until later... So I didn't really know a lot about food allergies until I had them. And so I went on a date with this guy and I ordered lobster mac and cheese. And he's like, oh, I'm allergic to lobster. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, oh, but you can have it. And I'm like, yeah, of course I can. You're allergic to it. I just realized if you're like a, like a couple weeks ago. Mm. You would realize that if you had like some sort of exchange I didn't realize with this that if I kissed him that he would have like wow. a yeah so mm -hmm. I um I blew that one and now I know I didn't call me again <laughs> like re like this just occurred to me like recently But the problem like the thing with him it's probably so ingrained in him that he can't have shellfish or no, whatever No but like that, apparently like, you know. actually if you well I mean it's a television show but if you watch one of our favorite shows Californication there's a scene where Ashby who reminds us of our friend Brett Okay Brett, sure reminds us of sure. our friend Brett yeah, yeah. um that uh, it remind he reminds me of our friend Brent. He uh, has a shellfish allergy, and the girl kisses him, and he has, goes into anaphylactic shock, and he's on the ground. He's like, hey, and they have to have him. So that he, guy could have done that, and you were like, all right, see ya. Sorry, sorry, at the lobby. No, if he did that, I would have been like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nine one one out. You would have thought it was like he was like playing a joke on you, like. I don't, I would have done something. I don't know. I would have. I'm always helping people. Well, at least you weren't kneeling on the just, stairs at La Salette. I just didn't know. It Praying. Might, but unquote. down here in Florida, there's a lot of fun things oh, you can do. Oh, there's a lot of things. And yeah. if you want to spice things up, get yourself a, an allergic reaction. It's always a good time. Get yourself a little. Uh, uh, it's yeah. not a good time. It's not a good time. Well, well actually, teasing. the day that we had, I don't know if I ever told him this. We, our friends were having their house house. Um, like inspected for insurance purposes. So they asked us to go meet with the inspector. We met with the inspector, we became friendly with the guy, we took him to lunch. We go to the boathouse, we had the fish tacos, all of us, mm. and I proceed Fruit to whipped. have an allergic reaction. I think it's something peanut related. Doug thinks it's the Cajun seasoning. Since cutting peanuts out, I have not had an allergic reaction. I have not attempted Cajun season seasoning, but here we are. Nor. I've had the yeah. reaction at two restaurants. No, excuse me, one. Um, here, one in Sanibel, and neither restaurant was terribly helpful. No, no, they no. were like, it, like you'd think that they would want you to know it's going to kill you. But well, the thing, know. the the one at the restaurant in Sanibel, it, I love that restaurant. I like the um, restaurant, but I did not but enjoy yeah, yeah. my allergic no, reaction. No, no. I did like the guy that we made friends with, though. He was we very did, nice. Yeah, he was yeah. a, a nice widow. From, from the with. from the sounds of it, that guy was on the second story of his condo, and the first story was the ocean. And I'm like, how did, you, how did you? How did you? I go, oh, so I, he goes, oh yeah, it was up to the first story of my condo. I go, where were you? He goes, on the second story, in my condo. And I'm like, how terrifying is that? Terrifying. Okay. So, Sorry, I'm, I'm just. Throwing it in. Do you have um, anything particular you want to talk about today? Uh, I have a bunch of stuff I took. I know you have. It's a already eight forty three. Yes, the it fuck? is. Um, I have a couple of uh, nature things. One's a Cape Coral thing, and I have a happy birthday uh, for somebody. So if you might have something a little bit more substantial than that, I have uh, that. I was I like so I'm always like I always try to visualize like my dream life, and. Do you just sigh? No. Um, no. I always try to visualize my dream life. I always think you should visualize your dreams. I try to do as much visualization as possible. 
Um, so I was thinking about that I wanted a house, like, with a pool, obviously, because, you know, we swim in the pool, I swim in the pool. Um, but I want it to be, like, um, like a pool cage, right? But I want it to be, like, living at the land at Disney. You know, where, like, all right. the hydroponics are growing, and then you swim around it. But then I was thinking, well, we should have fish in it. So it's like a, li a living scape. So it's like a pool, like, that we have built mm. with, like, a sandy bottom or whatever. Maybe it's got a texture. I don't know what the fuck it has. But we have fish, and they're in the pool. And we swim with them, and they help regulate the plants. Because mm -hmm. that's what they do with living with the land, right? right? So, so, but here's my thing. I w Doug's a turtle guy, and I was like, well, what do we do? Do we put turtles? Yeah. And he's like, no, Big turtles. Ones. And I'm like, okay, turtles are cool, but no snappers. And he wants an alligator snapping turtle. So put so a couple, couple hundred and fifty pounders throw right in there. Okay. My nipple is out. What is an alligator snapping turtle going to do? Unless it goes in its mouth, it's not going to clamp down. He's not going to come get you. Well, my, fortunately for you, my whole titty ain't fitting in an alligator snapping turtle mouth, but your weenie will. Oh. Just saying. I might have to rethink this alligator snapping turtle thing. So, uh, no, 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 no. What do you we, guys you know think? Alligator snapping turtles, will you swim in our lazy river? No, because you don't want to have your part spit off. Well, wait a minute. Maybe if we're going to have a lazy kind of river thing. in this... Do you this want me to bite your dick off? If we're going to have this magical... No, I don't want that. But if we're going to have this magical... You want a turtle indoor, to do, you pervert? <laughs> if we're going to have this magical indoor screened living with the land food producing ecosystem, then yeah. I can have a different pond for my 150 pound turtle or two. Whichever. I'd like a breeding pair. That'd be great. Have a little beach for yeah, them. But we're going to end up with more than a breeding pair. We'd end up with like 92. Yeah, then we then we just we rehabilitate the uh, species, which is at this point uh, threatened, endangered, because people used to make soup out of them. Did we not just find out that there's alligator snapping turtles on Santa Bell? We did, actually. Uh, yeah, that was that was the high point. He's like, yep, they're here. And I'm like, well, the, the range says they only come down a little bit north of... Um, of uh, Tampa, he goes. No, Do you know that turtles are not great at reading maps? Well, that's the thing. Anything, ha any any uh -oh. animal has a range. Range, right? Did you know that Matt, uh, Venus flytraps are only indigenous to South Carolina? Nowhere else in the world is a Venus flytrap. South Carolina. Maybe they have more flies than other states or areas. Um, if anybody knows anything about that, let us know. And also, there was a. Uh, I uh, one of my friends shared the fact that there is a. Um, species of leech that uh, only exists in the anus of a, uh, they spend their whole life in the anus of a uh, hippopotamus. So if you guys complain about your job, I'm bringing up the leech story. Nobody should be complaining. I gotta tell you, I found out about the coolest fucking job in the world last night, by the way. What was that? Um, okay, so last night, I'm just tick-tocking away, because I'm trying to sleep and I can't, I was like, still kind of wild, riled up, and I was just trying to settle down, but I was exhausted. I was like watching some TikTok videos. The drugs have kicked in. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't remember exactly who it was, but apparently there was a scientist that was experimenting uh, with, with commu meth. animal communications. Oh. And the United States government paid him to do um, to, to try to communicate with dolphins. And so what he did was he and these girls lived with these dolphins and um, they uh, dropped acid. The dolphins, the dolphins, they gave acid to the dolphins. I think that's called dosing. So this is where it gets even funnier. So w the girl would be in the tank with the dolphin trying to communicate with it, and the thing would be, like, trying to on her and uh, up on her with his dolphin parts. So she, they finally decided that, like, the only way to stop the dolphins from doing this was to give them manual release. So what they did Come in out. this job is <laughs> they masturbated um, dolphins to completion and it gave them acid. I feel like that's what, when I was in high school and I did that guidance counseling questionnaire about Nobody all the told jobs you, about you that should job. have. Not once did that appear. I blame the Catholics. <laughs> that's the kind of secret they would keep from me. Do yeah, I don't. I don't. Jerk off dolphins. That's I, the I, best here's job the thing. In the whole world. I mean, every like eighth Drop grade girl, right? Love dolphins. Come every, on. Every eighth grade girl wants to be a, 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 a oceanographer or what, what do they call the ocean people? Marine biologists. Ocean, marine biologists. Every everyone does because they love dolphins. And then guess what happens? If they find out that they get to jerk off a dolphin and drop acid, nobody joins the workforce. That's why they don't tell you. What do you mean? You can jerk off. That's part of the workforce. They the, get paid to do this. It's gonna, there's going to be a glut in there, and no, we're going to ha not have any other. Yeah, and we're going to have n nobody in the world. No women in the workforce because they're all going to be down at Sea World jerking hang. off dolphins. First of all, I would never do it at Sea World. Second of all. Second of all, it's not for everybody. 
Third of all, have we started communicating with Dolphin Jet? Does every person, apparently somebody's communicating with them. Every person in America with their hands. Have, does every person in America that wants one have a, a dolphin to drop acid with and jerk off? It would just no. be far too popular of a, of a every every major school. Which I got my dolphin jerking uh, masters at Duke. <laughs> I feel like Duke would be the place they would have the the, the best dolphin masturbating and, and dosing with drugs program in America. They, they would have, Why yeah. Duke? Mm. Not a good look for me tonight. I don't. I don't look good. I don't like it. Oh, oh, oh! I have well, something to say. Oh, you have something so to say. Oh, really? That's a shock. So some two part are coming. Something that has has been brought to my attention oh. several times now. I have um is when you are on a podcast like we are and you have opinions like we do, and if you're chatty like we are or like mostly I am, um people are going to remember things that you say and use them against you at a later date and time. Yes. Such as. So the first phone call I got was when some people were trying to give us money. <laughs> and he's like, you know, you just gave this whole tirade about how you should let people help you because they want to help and feeling helping people feels good, but now you won't let anybody help you. Yeah, Grant, no, I was don't wrong. Send us money. Go ahead. Send us yeah, money. We'll fine. take it. Just spend money. Crisp $20 bill. It's, uh, no big deal. Just, yeah, you just send me Facebook and send me some money. It's fine. We'll take your uh, money. I'm gonna, I, cause I'm, what I'm gonna do is start a GoFundMe. So send her to Dolphin Jerk School. Trust me. I, do you think I need to go to Dolphin Jerk School? I, you know what? I don't know what a dolphin needs, and I, I know that you don't. That's you right. might need some education. There might be something that you do that is repulsive to a, to a dolphin that otherwise a human thinks is pleasurable. Like you what? haven't thought this through. Like what? <laughs> What do you mean, like what? That's your like wife? Like what? I don't know what dolphins what like. What do that... I do to you that you don't think a dolphin would like? Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> I don't know what a dolphin likes. So I can't even begin to a answer that question. I know what boys like. I know what dolphins like. How do you know what a dolphin looks is like if you don't go to Duke or Ball State or... Uh, uh, Ball State? Ball what State. Ball State. Or uh, William and Mary has a good dolphin jerking program. Um, the... Uh, <laughs> This is not a good look for it's uh, SUNY uh, SUNY Oneonta better also is, is good better look. camera angle um, I'll have good and, and which is surprising and actually um, University of uh, Ottawa which is not on the ocean at all but they uh, have a good uh, dolphin jerk off school is what they do <laughs> oh okay so dolphin jerk off school it is I'm just saying that I'm disappointed that it didn't show up on more surveys I feel like it's a job I would be very good at and um, you would leave me so fast for for that job. Would you? Dude, would I just want to be healthy enough to do any job at this point. Like I You'd would be, be happy. putting your tank top on, jumping in. I would be ecstatic to work at Taco Bell right now. Like I, I would be ecstatic to be like a anal fisher spelunker. Oh, uh, what about that leech that lives in the uh, hippopotamus? Anus? I'm totally fine with that. Sure. I just want to be healthy enough to work. Um. um Oh, I thought of something we could do is just keep a little fishbowl where we put yeah. little ideas down on a piece of paper. And oh, just and just stick out. them in? Oh, that's a very good idea. Um, so. Um, and what if we wrote them on a fish-shaped piece of paper? That would be silly. Branding. Now is our brand of fish because I thought it was a fucking flamingo. What is it tomorrow? Hmm. Um, it's going to be a dolphin with uh, the happy face on it. Jesus. Would you like? Well, oh, what? I got one for you. Mm. So every couple has a weak link, link that no one likes. So like we have oh, couples. Yeah, yeah. Some people like her, not me. And other way around. Yeah, I wasn't Lots even see that you're, you're. No, sorry, I'm kidding. You're hurrying ahead. First of all, second of all, that's the point I was getting to. But the part that I was saying was that there's a lot of couples where we like one, not the other. We like some, one a lot not, more than the yeah, other. Yeah, some, not all, and not. Yeah, we, there, there's a lot. There, yeah, there's a lot. Where we like one person, not the other. Or so in some cases, we know one person better than we know the other one. Yeah. But there's a few cases where there's like one person that we're just like, ugh. ugh I could do without them. Why are you married to them? And we like, I'm not hoping anybody gets divorced, but there's a few out there that I'm going to be like, oh, Well, this all came from winning the, winning the lottery and going on the below deck yacht trip. Oh my God. That's our uh, thing. We keep saying we're going to win the lottery. We're going to go on the below deck yacht trip. All right. So who can we bring this? Who can we bring? See, this is the See, problem. See, then that's going to expose this. all the people we tell that we you, don't like. Then you're gonna, well, but we're, we're pretty transparent. You can tell when we I don't like I go with you. the people closest to us. You can tell if we don't like you. Yeah, that's right. 
Um, there's not that many people that no, we don't there's like, not that many and none of them will watch this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody that we have not met their spouse. I don't know. Guess, guess if, guess if we like you if or we not. We like you. <laughs> we like you. No, but yeah. but here's the thing. Like to to back what we were talking about is I just had something fall on me. I think a bead fell out of my hair. Oh, maybe. Um, it's Florida. It could be like a palmetto could, bug. Yeah. It's, um, it, the albino gecko is running over there somewhere. I don't know where he is now. So, I, do, are there people out there that only like one of us? And if so, which one? If it's not me, is and and why is it that you don't like Doug? Is it because right. he's boring? Is it because he just stares at the camera like a serial killer? He's like, I. You guys have to know, by the way, this man when you're not here is completely hilarious. He is so ridiculous. Today he's like, give me a half a chop. Give me a half a chop. <laughs> Do you ever hear him say, oh, you're giving me a half a chop on this show? No, I. Turn well, you're talking about and dolphins like, and stuff. Kiss That's your wife. Did, what? Kiss your wife. Mm, Holy you shit. There you go. Public display. Um, I enjoy my wife's company. I don't mind telling you. But you know what? Like, the thing is, I can't just be like, I don't know. The stuff happens that's funny. Um, that's funny. I don't know. What was funny the thing funny. that I was dying funny. about like this weekend that I said that was so funny? I don't remember what it was. But well, if you didn't write it down, I don't know I what didn't to write say. it down. Um, I got to tell you, this this was super cute. So there's this whole thing this woman does on TikTok. And it's um, called Goth Baby. And it's, like, this baby. And she has, like, this, like, totally, like, dark and grim nursery. It's, like, dark colors. It's all Victorian, very heavy. And so she has this baby. And she puts her in these cute little outfits. And a lot of them are dark, dark colored and stuff. And so she does these voiceover videos with like, the baby where she's, like, um, day, day in my life is goth baby. And my humans are making me blah, 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 blah. And so then they have like a playroom for it. And it's all these bright colors, and they bring her in there, and the, and they do all these little voiceovers. Of the baby going, I'm I'm in my color exposure therapy room, and I hate it. And blah blah blah. So anyway, they take this little baby to Disney World, and they put her in the haunted mansion outfits that the cast wear. And the cast literally took her and gave her a private tour and let her be one of the people. It was maybe the best video I've ever seen in my life. It was this little girl's first time at Disney. She got to go through the Haunted Mansion all She's by not going to remember it. She's two and a half. Yeah, but the parents will remember it, and the video will remember yeah. it. The internet will remember yeah. it, and sometimes the internet is not the worst so, thing in the whole world, but I like that. So so luckily we got off the couples we only like one of, but I think, um, you know, you know who you are. I wanted to get back to India. Apple picking? Yeah, so our friend Aaron, we have many Indian friends, yes. and uh, we actually have a whole Indian family. I don't know if you guys have one, but we do. And um, our Indian family, uh, in particular, who we love and miss very, very much, um, our buddy Gautam. So Gautam, uh, well, that's a couple we like both people of. Oh, yeah. We, well, we, I think I like Leda better than I like Gautam. How's that, my brown brother? Well, I don't know if uh, Gautam is smooth like a dolphin. <laughs> Morning to Leda. So. <laughs> I'm not um, looping that back to our previous conversation no, because that would not no, no, represent no, 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 his no. brand. But no, it wouldn't. I will say this. Um, when we had, we talked about the kites yesterday. We talked about Bobby Mack flying the kites and tying all the strings together and into outer space and how we always had kites at our house. Well, apparently, if you were from a well-to-do family in India, you, or at least in his family, you were not allowed to to fly a kite because you might cut your fingers because it was like glass or like fiberglass or something. And in so the string. he goes fucking berserk for kites. If you have a kite and he can fly, he's so excited. But he's terrified that the children's fingers are going to get caught. Yeah, and he's like, watch your fingers. Don't touch the string. Only hold it by the handle. And then he's got the kites going. He's so happy. And it's nothing. It's, makes, yeah. There's nothing that makes me happier than my buddy. Well, yeah. then my um. buddy flying kites is pretty Pretty, makes me pretty happy. The other thing is you doing Indian dances with him. Oh, that was a fun time. That was good, good stuff right there. He so that a lot of the Indian dances will involve like you know these kind of upper hand movements, but Doug likes to pretend he's dunking a basketball. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. Oh. But when you went to the President's Rock Club on one fine day with several Indian gentlemen, and they sent you over to talk to some ladies, yes. What did what did our friend tell you? Oh, I was instructed to go over to these young ladies. <laughs> And asked them if they had taken their contraceptive tablet <laughs> on that day. <laughs> and I'm like, that, I got him. That's the worst pickup line I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, except you went over. <laughs> so I went over there. I said something very, very different than that. <laughs> and very racist. <laughs> and, well, it wasn't racist. You can't no, say they're going to commit an act of crime. No, 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 no. It was, it was, yeah, it was something like that. <laughs> but they got up and left. 
and the I ladies. Proved, the ladies got up and left, and it proves that um, they were the racist ones. We because we go. joke about everything. Well, we, yeah, of course. I mean, we're yeah, we joke. Oh we God. joke about everything. We're comfortable with all our friends. Do you want to? Like you want to fuck with a hospital? My daughter was in the hospital once, and I didn't have my car there with me. I went with my daughter, and I needed a ride home. And so the hospital needed to. It was like in a like you know you have it, you have to get let in. And so um, I said, my brothers are coming to get me. <laughs> Imagine two Indian guys walking, and they're like, "Hey, we're I'm looking for Stacy." <laughs> um, anyway, the um, what? <laughs> I just from thinking of Gotham doing his impression of a, of an African American gentleman, <laughs> and he just like he walks Dude, like if you like, get get it's somebody, so funny. If okay, so here's the thing: we have friends from all over the world, and I freaking love accents, and I and I will also be friends with anyone. Um, these things are not in any way, shape, or form related, but perhaps relevant to the story. So I have friends from every walk of life, and one of my favorite things that people from other countries do is impressions of other people. So I think yes. impressions yeah, are yeah, funny, yeah. and I think accents are adorable, but if you take somebody with an accent and make them pretend, not make them, ask them to pretend to be somebody else, like if they, uh, Americans yeah, yeah, yeah. is great. No, no, no. Uh, my, my, do, like, my friend Serena is from oh England. God, she's Indian, funniest, but she's from it's England. The funniest fucking Listening thing. to her try to talk American is probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. It was, it was but just But it's like, it's not funny, like we're laughing at you, like, oh my no, God. No, no, like, no, no. It's I, just, we it's, love to fucking hang out with I, people who laugh at us. Oh, God. That's the whole goal, right? Yeah, you kidding? I thought you were going to a different hospital story about how your daughter was um, in the hospital and they said should we run a pregnancy test oh <laughs> then you're going to have to get security and a wiring <laughs> if it's up positive privately, if that's positive and the nurse thought I was serious <laughs> and went white as a ghost <laughs> so, people have no yeah. sense of humor well that one's a little harsh I was kidding bring security Kinda. and a wire hanger if it's a positive that was a, that was a little harsh, but funny as hell. And I don't care who you are. That's a funny. That's a funny thing to say Not, well, at a other, hospital. The other thing that was funny as fuck is we were in the hospital um, for me at one point with heart issues, and uh, I don't even bother anymore. I'm just like, <laughs> kill me. Um, anyway, I was in the hospital for heart issues, and uh, the girl said something I didn't understand. Like, it was like a medical terminology. I'm like, I don't know what you just said. That might as well be have been Swahili. I have no idea what language Swahili is. Like, apparently, you don't even know where Swahili it's is. It's actually Swaziland. Swaziland, By the way, yeah. supposedly they grow some great weed, but that's oh, not the point. Excellent. The point is, apparently, the chick is from fucking Swaziland. She goes, I speak Swahili. She goes, what and did I'm she like, just what? say? I go, it sounds like it's Swahili. Like, it might as well be Swahili. I don't understand it. She goes, I'm Swahili. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. Now I'm oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was, yeah. Cause, Why know, would you I, say like, that? I'm just yeah, it fucking was so, yeah. running off at the mouth like no, I do. Like the, I was the trying most, to. I didn't the know. Most, I have no idea. I didn't know. People, I think throughout the history, if there's some, I they were like something tongue. you don't understand, it's a it's a language so far afield. It's like Swahili. I guess you know, I could that, have that, said like, that was, like, Maybe that's a racist thing. I don't I, know. I, but I wasn't trying to be. I, but like, I would never try to be racist. My favorite hospital story is that when. Um, we were in the ER or in like one of those, you know, like rooms oh with a curtain and this, this doctor comes in. She goes, hi, I'm Dr. Shapiro. I don't know why I said this. <laughs> it's an older woman. She's like late 50s or something like that. She goes, hi, I'm Dr. Shapiro. I go, it's pronounced Shapiro. She was not amused. She was not amused. She didn't think that. I thought it was hysterical. I thought like, how would My I know how suffered. her name is pronounced? is pronounced it makes no sense whatsoever but i tell look i'm like he's kidding with you he's joking oh God, like Shapiro, he's joke. Shapiro. i know it's not funny but it's a joke it's so funny it's i mean funny. if somebody yeah that, that's your favorite hospital story um the, oh, there's a lot of there's like, been funny so many hospital, hospital stories, stories. Yeah. the one when i pulled my iv out i looked it up on youtube she did i have oh, a video of it pull. Oh, you she goes, pull, uh, she's way. like i'm so, not i'm, I'm not waiting. waiting for them to come back because it would have been like another hour two hours right and so she looks it up. She's watching the YouTube video, and she's like, "Oh, you press here." And boop, 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 and There's done. nothing to press. You just and, pull it out. And so then they, so they come back. Well, what happened? I My pulled the fucking. Boss. I that's, pulled that's the what fucking thing out because I'm not waiting here uh, all day. I'm like, is there anything else you need for me? Because I'm leaving. Hmm. Like that shit where they keep you around for another two hours. That's nonsense. Um, I had another hospital story i don't know mm. i'm just i'm well the drugs are starting to kick in i didn't i well i had a hospital story from from uh when when i was younger What's that? um uh my friend george tom harris was driving his vega i was in the back seat we got rear-ended 
And so Tom's dad, you know, we're like teenagers, whatever. And so, so you guys all go to the hospital, make sure you're okay. So we go to the hospital, city hospital, middle of the summer, Worcester, Mass. There's no air conditioning to be found in Worcester. I don't even think it even was invented in Worcester, Mass for a long time. So we're sitting there and like waiting forever, middle of the night. We just got in an accident. Tom's bummed about his car, whatever. So we're going up to the desk, right? And so um, the guy in front of us has this big, you know, wound up bandaged hand, right? And all I hear is the girl at the desk. He goes, well, well, sir, do you, do you have the fingers with you? And no lie, paper lunch bag just puts it up on the on the counter. I, I Yeah. It, it was probably the funniest moment I'd ever seen. Like, this poor guy cut his hand off, but he had the fingers in a, in a, in a paper lunch bag. So did you find out if they got them reattached? I have no idea. I have no idea. But he did his due diligence. He brought, him, he brought the fingers. To, but, yeah. Owls are back. Very <laughs> quiet. Um, I had something that came to me while you were talking, and I totally forgot what it was. Oh, so my friend Christina today called me out, too. So I had mentioned before that my, one of my friends had called me out. Todd yes, called me out. Right, so right, Christina right. called me out and was like, listen, stop talking so badly to yourself. She, like, straight up yelled at me today. And she was right, and I needed it. Yes. But one thing that's been hard for me is the podcast, the camera is not the flatteringest. I don't enjoy putting flattering makeup on. I do not enjoy putting makeup on. And um, I, it's just making me self-conscious. And also, I do this weird thing where I go, hmm, and I hate it, and I can't make it stop. I don't know what and that I don't is. Know what the fuck it is. If you watch the videos. So anyway, the videos are making me a little self-conscious, and I'm really stressed about getting clips. So just bear with us, please. Okay. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, I will go. Can I go to my list? Because yeah, I, I got I a, a whole bunch of other stuff on my list. I'll cover it another day. Um, uh, very happy birthday today to Lee Majors. He's 84. The $6 million man. That, I don't know. If, that's a legend right there. I don't there. know if Lee Majors watches this podcast. Lee Majors uh, was uh, married to Farrah Fawcett Majors back in the 70s. Uh, she was on Charlie's Angels. He was on Six Million Dollar Man. He's Steve Austin. He's the shit. Lee Majors. Thank you. Okay. Happy birthday, Lee Majors. 84. Happy birthday. No, oh, we're not singing to Lee Majors. I'm going to sing Lee Majors. Lee Majors, Brent Scott, and there was somebody else I knew that had a birthday today. Who else had a birthday today? One of my friends had a birthday today. Mm-hmm. I don't know who it was. Don't know. Um, I don't even know how to find the bit birthdays on Facebook anymore. Anyway, happy lo- birthday lo- to people. In, in, yes, indeed. Happy birthday. Everyone. That's for sure there's a lot And you know what? We should celebrate every day. We should celebrate. Everybody. Because it's all. Yeah. Hey, happy birthday. Happy on birthday happy to you. Day. And you. And you. And, and you. And you. Thank you. Okay. So we um, celebrate every day. A little co- Cape Coral news. A. Um, a bird fell down a uh, a post in a deck, like a like one of these like uh, six by six posts. It was hollow, it was like aluminum. A little baby bird fell down there. Fire department said they came. Whole bunch of grown ass men getting a little bird. Aww, feel good story to the grown ass men saving the little bird. What else then, you got? Um, Australia, there was a, a fossil of a plesiosaur, which is a lot like what they think a Loch Ness monster is. Big long neck lizard thing with with flippers um but the australian silt has silica and it preserved what was in its stomach and guess what was in its stomach do you want to take a guess crowns a unknown species of aquatic marine uh mammal fancy so this thing ate something we didn't even know about until it died and we saw the contents of its stomach put that in your fossil record and smoke it I thought that was pretty exciting. Very exciting. They don't even know what that thing is. They don't know what to call it. Okay, what else you got? Uh, and, um, oh, our boil water order has been lifted, so we can... Continue to drink bottled water. Continue to drink bottled drink water, water at a cost. I really wish we, uh, I, if, I wish we owned our house and it had like a reverse osmosis water system. Yeah. Because you're bathing in unsafe water, and by the time you tell they tell you that there's a boil order, you can be damn sure that there's right. been we've already boiled that sh- that the shit water the ends of its life. Well, I haven't gotten there, but you you can all, you can be sure that by the time they tell you that there's a boil water notice in effect, yeah, you're, it's you're been bad for yeah. a while. Yeah. Incidentally, our freezer you need to dump all that ice. Yes, and we need to change the filter. Yes, we do. Actually. In the garage. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, not the point. The point is that. Um, most tap water in this country, or I don't know, probably everywhere, is fucking polluted now. I don't even know what that says about the fucking soil. Or I don't even and... think you can uh, catch a snowflake on your tongue anymore. I think the EPA has said, don't, don't do that because that, uh, that's not safe. Who the fuck knows? And that... That... Do you know that the government like literally does cloud seeding? They li- like literally make it rain when they want to. Like, I don't think they can make it rain when they want to. 
Um, it's a thing they do. Uh, it. They Look can it definitely up. do it. I know. I know quite well it. about cloud, cloud seeding. But, they do it. Um, My point is that the water is not safe to drink anyway. We have a countertop water distiller. Doug does not drink that water. I take a supplement to help replace the trace minerals that are there in the water. But we distill our water because it's the only way to get the fluoride out. Um, I don't even know if Cape Coral has fluoride, to be honest with you. The, the problem for me is that we both bathe and I swim in the pool and they both have like this toxic water and it's being absorbed into my body. Anyway. Toxic water. Yeah, I think it's toxic. Yeah. Don't you? Well I, don't, well, I don't know. I don't know if it has, if it has fluoride. I, I would say, say yeah, are, this, that, I, that I will, could be a toxic situation. I will say, well, it's been, I think it's been E. coli in the Cape Coral water. That um, just means somebody... The chem the our pool company um, I really wish it was um, a hydrogen peroxide pool but um, our pool company actually does a really good job of using a very small amount of chemicals and keeping the pool clean. Yeah. Shout out to AJ and AJ is the man. People's names are but they're really nice. Yeah. No, they're um, so I don't know I don't, I don't have a ton tonight I'm just no. honest honestly I'm just super it's Monday. Tired. What, what do you it's expect Monday, from us people? Nine o'clock. Oh I'm terrible at praying. Oh yeah yeah why, you were you were I'm saying terrible that. at praying. Yeah. Okay, so like, and I couldn't help you with that because I you uh, don't pray. No, I, I don't know. Anything no, but I just realized it. that you. I'm terrible at praying. So like, in the traditional sense, sense of the world, there's like the La Salette, fancy schmancy stair rosary, the flashing mode. But generally speaking, you're like taking some sort of position and saying some sort of formal prayer. We right. had to learn all these prayers in Catholic school. You know, glory be, act of contrition, uh, hail Mary, our Father, etc. Um. I don't know why others' prayers are escaping me right now. But anyway, you learned prayers, and you're supposed to say those that, you know, when you sin, they say ten Hail Marys. When you sin some more, they say say two rosaries. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what they, what do they tell the priests that molested little boys to say? Go to a different church? <laughs> they tell them not to say anything. That's what they say. Don't say anything. Yeah. But, but I, I bless you. <laughs> don't say anything. We got you a great lawyer. Yeah, yeah don't, don't say anything. We got it covered. We're gonna relocate you to the Vatican. In any, uh, is that gonna get us in trouble with the Vatican? I think I'm already in trouble. with the Does Vatican. the Vatican? Do they have like some do sort they of watch secret podcast? Yeah, I don't know. They have a relationship with the uh, yeah, with all the companies. eight people we're gonna reach tonight. The, the social media, the, the FBI have relationships with social media companies. All these, the way that F, the FBI. Oh, um, uh, these with, people in Cape Coral have been uh, been talking about the Vatican. I think they're gonna stir <laughs> some things up. We better squash that. It's and possible. Put some E. coli in so, their water. But I was talking about well, thanks, the Sergeant. fucking. Uh, oh, praying. So, so I know how to like do the prayers when you're, you know, when you do it, as you know, the priest makes you. And I know how to do them when your family has rosary. And P.S. Your aunts just use it to get drunk, and that's why your grandfather finally says you can't have rosary anymore because nope. the aunts were just getting hammered every time. Mm. I have some opinions about that. My grandmother didn't like you. Oh, she warned me Truth about you. Truth can be you. told. This expose here on marital. Anyway, Heat. um. Uh, so anyway, my um, I know the rosary from saying it with my grandparents. I know the rosary from church. I know it from saying it with my grandmother, and from all of my many, many, many sins and my forcible Catholic induction, where forcible. I had to learn all this shit. But that's not how like I don't think that's how you're supposed to pray, right? But I think no, you're supposed I think to have yeah. like conversations with God. You're supposed to be like I don't know, maybe you do this, uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you sit with like your hands out. Maybe, well, maybe you bow. Whatever you want to do, when, and I don't care what kind of God you have and how you pray. Whatever you do is up to you. And I hear that it doesn't matter. You can pray in any way you want. Like even if you're like, you know, hey, I want the Patriots to go all the way, or you make a wish, or you manifest, or you pray. It's all the same fucking thing in the, in, in the end, uh, which is exactly what it says in Ecclesiastes in the mm -hmm. Bible. Mm -hmm. It's all the same fucking thing in the end. Mm -hmm. In any case, um, I have, I have a, um, I'm not. I'm, okay, I'm, go let ahead. Let me finish. And so, um, so, t so I realized that like today, a friend of mine has a, um, their, their family has just had a lot of stuff and I'm praying for her and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'll add this person that's sick to my prayer list. Your family's always on my prayer list. They have been from the end of time. So of course, if I tell somebody I'm going to pray for them, if I see something on social media, somebody asks me to pray for them, I do it right then. Cause if I don't, I'm going to forget about it. Mm. And it's usually just a Insta quick prayer. little prayer, but like, yeah, yeah like prayer. if you need a prayer, Fucking throw it in the comments. I'll pray for you. Uh, and then, like, but my conversation is, like, anytime I ask for somebody to feel better or be healed or whatever, I'm like, God, can you please heal this person? And, like, but, like, you're supposed to be, like, you know, like, dear God, you know, thank you for blah, blah, blah. And I, I do my gratitude every night. We do it here on the podcast because we want to encourage other people to do gratitude. But, like, I feel like 
I just go right into it. I'm like, hey, God, uh, if you could do me a solid, I would appreciate it if you could not make my friends, you know, whatever, sick. And also, why are you making people sick in general? That's shitty of you. What the fuck is wrong with you? And that's not, I don't think how you're supposed to talk to God. Mm, probably not. But I talk to God the same way I talk to you and Zach and pretty much everybody mm. else. That explains a lot. Is that why God didn't answer my prayers? <laughs> is that why God's been ignoring me? You might be a little me? sarcastic. do a shitty job of praying <laughs> yeah, and make fun of the Catholics no, you to know talk about think... how much I love dicks all the time? I think... Is that what you're saying? Is I that why God's forgiving is God... me? No, I think it's a forgiving God. I don't think God would, would be smite you because you didn't pray he the right way. He has smited me. Okay. I have a, a, a religion-based uh, item that happened today. Did you have like a, a like another thing where you hate Christians and I have to explain to you? We that actually you don't talked about how I, I, I live in a Christian way. I applied for a job. He lied. I didn't lie. Well, I sort of, well, I, I had to answer this, these questions. In, did that one ask you if you were trans? No, I don't, I don't know if it did or not. I applied for a job. That job was creative director at the Tim Tebow Foundation. And one of the questions was a check mark, you know, are you this, are you that? Um, and, and what, what was the, are you a, have you? Do you have Christian leadership Leadership experience. experience. No, Christian leadership. C Christian leadership experience. Yes, sure, why not? Right? I'll explain it later. And I, just, I can always I can always watch like a YouTube clip on that or something, okay. right? And I argue it's not like, you I know. argue that Doug ha does have Christian leadership experience because despite the fact that he has no ever loving clue about anything. No I have um, some clue about something. Certainly not religion. I have some questions about religion. That's really good. Do. You should have questions. Because I'm trying to learn. Well, you should ask those questions. Yes. And I was going to ask Tim, Tebow, but and you whatever. Should, and you should not make assumptions about what other people's faith is. However, um, like one of the things that, that has come up quite a bit is people saying that, um, assuming that Christians are homophobes. And the reality is, is that if, if you are truly a Christian, even if, even if you believe that homosexuality was a sin... We live by the premise that only God can judge. We are not. And a even if it is, is a sin, Jesus died for the sin, so no harm, no foul, right? I don't know that that's how it works, but if you repent, but but my point is, is that that if you're a Christian, you don't ju you don't have hate in your heart. You live with love right. in your heart, Agreed. and you are a person Agreed. of forgiveness. Agreed. So, and some of, as much as I have my own issues with organized religion, I do think a lot of good things come out of it. I know a lot of church communities that do a lot of great things for their community. I have a lot of friends who are involved in their churches, and I'm very proud of them and the community that they create for other people. I just would never want to go be a member of any club that would have me as a member, unless I was like, you know, a cult leader or whatever. That's not the point. The point was back to... So the point is that Christians. Tim Tebow will forgive me for that little, you well, know. But yes. not that. But it's not this, entirely it, untrue because here you are living you, you, in a good. You live a good moral. Christian. You live a good Christian life. You live a good Christian life, despite the fact that you do not identify as a Christian. I don't jerk you, off dolphins. <laughs> I don't. I don't see what's unChristian about jerking off dolphins. I don't see I don't anywhere. Think I, there was that says, jerking off dolphins was not in the Bible. So you can not supposed to. Doesn't to do have it. to be in the Bible. The world has changed. But what about dinosaurs? And the fucked up thing about it is, is that everybody's going to tell you, well, the Bible says, well, the Bible says, well, the Bible's been translate, translated umpteen billion times. And you know how many different fucking translations there are of it. Yeah. And you don't think God's like, oh yeah, like maybe you should update, download an update. It's on this website that I created for you. I uh, would think it would use a tablet computer. <sighs> yeah, baby. Remember what we were talking about? My dropping the, the mic. The wit, what? <laughs> Now you have a dry sleeve. I have a dry sleeve. Anytime now. I tell you a dad joke, she doesn't. She doesn't. God, she doesn't want to have sex with me anymore. Uh, um. Anyway. So Christian values. Christian, Christian values, values so it's a, are, do you have are a thing. Do you have Christian leadership? I don't have Christian experience, and and you do because you live a Christian life, okay. and you are. And I lead, lead by example. You you lead your family. You have two sons. Yes, he leads his son, his gay son, in My a Christian way. Because we love and I him. And I don't even try to cure him of his gayness. I embrace Nobody it. Nobody is going to fucking try to pray away his gay. Like, that's like. That's a card it's, from. It's, uh, but it's. It fucking pisses me off. Way. Because, again, I'm not a Christian, but I have a lot of friends who are Christian. You fucking say anything about any group of people except Christians and conservatives, or worse yet, Christian conservatives, 
and all fucking hell breaks loose. But say whatever the hell you want about these people. And most Christians that I know, and most conservatives that I know, well, I don't associate with people that are assholes. So I'd say all the Christians and the conservatives that I know are amazing people. They do a lot of nice, a lot of good for society. They do a lot of good for their community. And uh, I resent any kind of um, blanket statements that are made about Christians. But I do like to make take shots at the Catholic Church because that's fun. No blanket statements. Not like they took at those little boys, but I do like to take shots at the Catholic Church. Wow. Shots. Oh, boy. Took you a minute. Love everybody. Drugs are kicking in. Enjoy everybody, and let's do the thing. So anyways, uh, I haven't heard back from the Tim Tebow Foundation. Um, Tim Tebow I, knows you're lying. All I know is that uh, I was... Um, I will be forgiven by Tim himself if I get the job. I think I would do a good job as Tim Tebow's creative director. I don't know what, what exactly what they do, but I have a lot to offer in that regard. And uh, what I don't know about Christian leadership, you'll learn. The team will. Uh, the team will uh, help help me uh, on my uh, right on my righteous path. Um, I have a couple things. Uh, today is also Jonathan the tortoise's birthday. Oh. 180 happy, happy years old. Hundred and whatever. The oldest living animal that we're aware of. No, um, that's not true. Well, that's what they a said. A land animal, perhaps. But there's that shark that's like 500 oh, years old. I have a funny one for oh, you. Oh, there's a funny one. <laughs> I have actually like five. Excuse me. So last night we had um, we did the stuffed sausage thing that we taught you guys how to make, and um, <laughs> Doug. Uh, uh, Costco has organic sausages, so we bought those. And yes. Doug made them, although they come pre-cooked or something. And yeah, yeah. So we you know how some sausage is pre-cooked, some, some is, yeah. The shallots were undercooked, wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of the meal was great. So anyway, the, but the sausage was good. I just pulled the raw shallots out. Doug got a tummy ache. I did. So I go over to him okay. with some peppermint essential oil, and I want to... <laughs> He's got his legs up on the recliner because he's not feeling good. He's got his arms back. And she and ambushes me. Up. I pull his shirt up and I take the, the peppermint oil and I go and throw it in his belly I just button. Remember he goes, what I said. Oh no, oh no, that's where my, I got food from my mommy. <laughs> just like that. Like, it was so funny. My belly button. Is, and she goes, like, That's not where you got food from your mommy. And then she thought about it for a minute and then it was. Um, I don't like people touching my belly button. I don't like touch people I touching didn't even my touch ribs. Touch your belly button. My I just ribs. put it in there. Oh, my like ribs. My, all I feel like my ribs are going to break weirdo. And, and go into my liver. You don't and I'll bleed like out. to be touched at all. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Maybe it was it's fun for me. Maybe it was. Maybe you're what? Were you know. molested by an uncle? Not that I remember. No, you're not that attractive. No. no. Okay. <laughs> oh, and, and then my uncles were good, so they were good guys. So until <laughs> what? They were good guys. All my uncles were. Claude, Lauren. I don't know. Ira, there must have been a reason why your dad Glenn, said don't be a Claude all your life. Um, I did want to mention. Mel, um, I run kidding? two. These are good guys. I run two groups on Facebook that you guys are welcome to join. One's called Zen AF. I'm sorry, no cross promotion. I just called it. Excuse me, Zen AF, which is um, just like inspirational stuff, and one is RX for laughter. It's all jokes and stuff. Um, just thought that you know maybe if you guys. Need something else to entertain you? That would be something that you could do. I'm terrible at praying. Oh, I think Tupac. Uh, I think we should be wrapping up, but I want to tell you this real quick. Tupac. Still alive? I saw something today, very briefly. I don't know if this is true. Tupac had alopecia. Um, which is interesting, because Jada Pickett Smith had alopecia. Is alopecia an STD? Hang on. We have a friend. Jada Pickett Smith is Tupac. Done. Conspiracy solved. Tupac was way nicer than that. Well, um, now he's not nice because now he's got to be, pretend to be I will married say this. to Will Smith. We have a friend that's not a fun who has alopecia. We have a friend who has alopecia. We have several, but we know several people with it. Well, we know one friend in particular yeah. who has alopecia, and um, and his wife does not have alopecia. Yeah. Which begs the question. <laughs> Hair fall out. Is she going to get it? I don't think it's a sexual <laughs> transmitted disease. I don't know. No, I don't um, think it is. Maybe their kids case, might. I will tell you, though, if you're, I, I think, I, I find bald men to be very attractive. Um, so I think if you're a man, alopecia is not so bad. If you're a girl, it might suck. But wigs, wigs are great. Oh, my God, I would fucking love a wig. I would love a wig. This is a wig. Well, it's very realistic. Not a wig. But it's not. My hair, like, it's a project. Like, it, a wig would be a No, but you're, you're, 
you've oh. done your hair. You do your hair. There's some maintenance involved, but it's not like you you do it for an hour each day. No, I, it's not like I you, do it for. You have to put 18 different serums so I do on it, it and all that. Two hours. Like that. Four times two hours a year. to wash it four times a year and two hours in the salon four hours a year. Yeah, but so. we always get a good story when we wash it in that, that inflatable eight, so basin. So eight hours. So I spend a total. Well, I mean, I wash it in between, but I probably spend. I probably spend 10 hours a year on my hair. On your hair. Total. It's not bad. Whereas I think most, a lot of people spend, you know, 20 minutes every day and that's that adds up. Well, I, I don't know what I spend every I don't day. Do probably I just play, 30 I mean, seconds do, a day. I do find times. myself playing with it during the day, but 99% of the time it's up in a bun. I think it looks better on camera when it's down though. So what are you doing? 365? 182 minutes a year on my hair. That was 182. That was 30 hours. seconds a day times 365 days. Divided by 60. 182 minutes. Well, imagine is that how right? much time no, you No, that's the, it can't be right, right? Imagine how much time you spent on your phone. Oh, I spent a lot of time on my phone. But I'm looking up cool stuff like plesiosaur bones and stuff like that. It's or you're doing, uh, what do you call it? The stupid soccer game thing he's doing. Oh, I do a, a, a nice soccer game. I like he's that. And I play word games with, with certain people. He hasn't been doing that as much, though. He's been working on his music. I um, have been working on music. And, and he got that video done, and it's a beautiful. And I did so the music. So I, I think we should start wrapping up because it's 9 20, 25. It is, so and let's I, do our yeah. gratitude. Uh, great, uh, grateful uh, to uh, speak with my old friend Manny today. That was a nice little conversation Love this him. afternoon. Good I day. am uh, grateful for um, semi functioning technology. Excellent. I was grateful that you swam laps in the pool today because I enjoyed watching that. Um, I am grateful for all of my friends I got to talk to today. I am. Uh, I said Zach too. I said Zach, Christina, Todd. Mm. I think that's it. I am uh, thankful for. What am I grateful for today? Um, many. Oh, I was grateful that we had leftover Italian ice. Um, Gelati so, thing oh, I want a little bit of that in, actually. In, in the um, in the in the freezer from the other day. So we stretch them out all, across the week. Did we get that on Thursday, Friday? It was Friday right before the podcast? Friday, yeah, it was. And we got them, and, and we didn't eat them. We, we were like, them. yeah, okay. So we <laughs> so just threw I them had in the... two bites today, one bite yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. So it'll last a whole week. That's good stuff. <laughs> For ten dollars. Um, we're watching. Literally, I count every single penny we spend, and mm. I'm following him around, shutting lights off while I do it with my phone because we have a smart home. But um, I, and I, the I, garage and yeah. fridge running is driving me insane. But I'm working with it because I'm making him put food in there, so it at least runs a little bit more efficiently. Um, okay. Wait. So you did what you're thankful for? I, well, it's your turn. It's my turn. I am thankful. So I did two. I am thankful that. Um, I am thankful that I have not thrown up on the podcast today. We had the same dinner that we had last week. Did we? Had, uh, and yeah. so as Doug handed it to me, he goes, you're not going to throw up, are you? Yeah. Don't <laughs> want to see so, this again. Um, but last week's steak was a little better. It yeah, was it was better, fun. but you didn't enjoy it But uh, imagine me. Yeah. I had a delightful steak, grass-fed organic, mm. with some beautiful sides. It's on sale. And, bleh, bleh, yeah. and organic raspberries everywhere. But then tonight, steak was meh. Mm. I have such big bags under it was my on sale. these things. Oh my god! Oh well. Keep going. Gonna... All right. So what uh, I was for? grateful to see our. Um, what was I grateful for? Oh, I uh, I actually um, wrote a second verse uh, to a song that I've been working on. Um, that's been eluding me. So I worked on that second verse. Grateful you figured out. Th yeah, threw threw down some uh, some vocals for it. Um, while she was out in the pool, and it took me all of fifteen minutes. So I am one verse away from putting. The final touches on that bad boy. Um, so I was, I was pretty psyched about it. I am thankful for all the stuff that you do around here that I cannot do. Why, thank you. I am grateful for all the people that tune into this podcast. We look forward Me to too. it every day. It cheers us up. The, um, having the, It feels like we have people around us. And uh, we feel like uh, we're hopefully we're bringing some entertainment value to joy you. Joy to the world. We, we hope we're bringing joy to the world. Especially Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I'm not excited about Jeremiah. The girl wasn't that friendly. She had no personality. Well, All right, let's say hi to our friends. Yay. Okay. I know, right? His haircut looks amazing. I think Tracy actually went to bed, but maybe she'll walk she did. She had through later. Jewelry. She also has no idea who Porter Wagner is. Sprinklers are going on, Monday guys. night, sprinkler night. Um, she loved the intro video. Thank you so much. That's perfect, Bill. Debate is what I lettered it. Nope.
Choir. Nope. nope. Hey, Derek, what's up? Derek. Hey, Dad, what's up? Um, drama. No. Um, Kevin, I don't know how we go about adopting you, but maybe. Is Kevin our friend from Situation? Yes. Ah, Do you know who good. Kevin is? Yeah, he's a great guy. Picked yeah. up the inside the piano. Yeah, yeah we love him. He's a great Kevin. guy. And his friend, I forgot his friend's name, but the friend was also an awesome Jimmy? guy. Jimmy? Was it Jimmy? I think it was I don't Jimmy. remember. Say hi to Jimmy for us. But I, I, like, anytime you see two people together, you're just kind of like, oh, that's Kevin. So, that's like, so the two of well, them Kevin are Kevin. Well, Kevin was supposed to move to Florida, and I think he had oh, a deal right. with a house that didn't work out, and I don't yeah. know what it is, but well, Kevin. we love you, Kevin. You're a hoot. Do we get like, um, do we get like a tax write-off for Kevin if he, we adopt him? I don't know. I don't okay. know how that works. All right, we're working on it, Kevin. We'll, we'll talk to um, the lawyers. Kevin is one of our sober friends. He uh, shares, I hope it's cool, Kevin, because you put it on your wall all the time, and I just want to share with everyone how proud we are of all of our sober friends. Uh, not an easy thing to do. And, um, you know, thank you for, you know, your years of service to the AA community and, um, and setting an example to others. Um, and thank you for your military service. Mm. We appreciate you. And I believe Kevin used to work at uh, BCN, WBCN. It's possible. I think that, I think. If, I, if I'm remembering right. Um, so, uh, yeah, Nobody Knows Who Porter Wagner is something to do with Dolly. Um, choir, drama, the flamingos are, um, well, yeah, they're erect. They got their cloacas lined up. P.S., if you happen to be bored and want to know what fucked up things are happening in the world, I suggest Googling man sodomizes flamingo. There was a man who went me. to Bush Gardens, sodomized a flamingo to death. Despite my lamenting about the Dolphin Acid um, Foundation, I am not interested in harming any animals. Only consenting animals to dolphin hand jobs. Mm. Um, snow angels are sledding for dates. Slow, snow angels are setting, uh, sledding uh, for dates is good. Darlene was here. She was laughing Briefly. about apple picking. Abu? Uh, oh, driving on, leafing. Uh, leafing on, on, on the, the New Kangamangas. Kangamangas Highway. I don't know yeah. if you can take like a first date in the car ride. You, well, I don't know. If I'm, driving some, so if I'm driving some oh, skank I can tell up you to New like, Hampshire in the my, woods. One of my favorite things to do in the whole world is to read the Craigslist personal ads, but they're gone now. Yeah, they used to. Yeah. But I used to read that them in like, I would, I would read them in like rural areas, like in the yeah. middle of nowhere, Maine, and it would be some weird ass things. Um, I hope you enjoy your nice adventure with your meds there. So, while we're on the topic of sobriety, I hope you're enjoying your meds there. Um, um, hey, Ann, I'm glad you're here. And thank you for the work I'm schedule. I'm so sorry we, you're uh, so tired. You remember the look names? Look forward to having you. Um, yes. Um, yeah, she's coming soon. I actually need to put the date in the calendar. She told me, but I forget. Okay. Sorry, it's like well, Memorial Day or something. When she shows up, she shows up. So anyway, um, I don't know. We just really appreciate you guys, and we hope everybody had a great day today. We'd love to hear anything that you have, um, any suggestions you have, any ideas you have for topics. You want to write us a letter. You, we'll give you some advice. Yeah, send us some snail mail. If you have a product you want to us to review, we'll review your product. If you have a business you want us to promote, well, whatever we can do to help you guys out, we're happy to do it. Mm. If you could also help us by liking and sharing and commenting your on our videos, tell your friends. Like, if every... If every viewer that we have right now, which is one, and they tell two people, um, told one person, then two people would know about our podcast. And if those people, two people, told two people, then four people would know about our podcast, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, if there you used can, to be a commercial, by the way, um, it sounds like something an STD commercial. No, it was a shampoo commercial, and they told two friends, and they told two friends, and it would like until the screen so filled up with boxes of people. So that's what we really would love. We would love for you people. to tell two friends about. What we're doing. If you don't have Tell friends. Them. Well, they have us. We'll we're be your friend. friend. We're their friends. We're already your friends. So we appreciate you. And, um, you know, we're on YouTube and all the other socially places. And if you socially. want us to so follow you on the socially places, just tell us what your socially stuff is. And not your social security number. We're not asking for that. We're not scammers. But any kind of, you get, tell us your socialies and we'll follow you on the socially of your choice. And uh, we'll do whatever we can to support you there. And uh, we hope that you have a great night tonight. And, mm. um, I suggest uh, masturbate yourself to sleep. Everybody. What do you think? Or a dolphin. If you could find a willing dolphin, I support that too. I don't, not the acid though. Don't do the acid. Do they sleep room. and mushrooms. swim at the same mushrooms. time? Mushrooms. mushrooms are a good time. Weed. All right, or dolphin. Or be sober. That's okay too. Do whatever as you gotta do. As long as you can find a willing dolphin, that's all that matters. Just do whatever you gotta do. Just don't harm any animals or waterfowl, that kind of thing. Waterfowl? Yeah, like a flamingo is a waterfowl. You're a waterfowl. All right, good night, guys. Happy hey, Monday. Wait, wait. You have to wait. Because it does this thing. It does a thing. Now you have to do it.